Hey, welcome to Man Kitchen Recipes. I'm Kevin. Tonight I'm cooking on the Weber kettle. Let me show you this grill okay. I got. So I got this new grill grate for my Weber kettle for one reason, or for one main reason. And tonight we're going to do fajitas okay. on it. So. Now the main reason why I got that grill, let me tell you, and I'm sorry if this video goes too long. Probably 10 years or more ago, I bought this Weber cast iron wok. And I didn't even have a Weber kettle. <laughs> so that's why I got that grill. I bought this. My nephew bought me a burner for a discata or a plow disc cooker. We couldn't find a plow disc. I found this. I bought it. Wasn't what we were looking for. Never used it. I got this Weber kettle. Like I said, probably 10 years later. I got the grate. I paid more for the grate than I did for my kettle. <laughs> anyway, we're going to do fajitas tonight. And I'm going to use this. I'm going to do my uh, my peppers and onions in this. I'm going to do my fajita meat right over the grill because I want that charcoal, char grilled flavor for my fajita meat. Uh, I'm going to cook it first. We'll take it off. We'll cut it up. We'll get our uh, veggies going. And we'll throw the meat right in with them. So, all right, you ready? Let's get this going. Hey, Sal. Fire in the hole. Okay, let's make our marinade. I got a lime, an orange, olive oil, apple cider vinegar, cilantro, minced onion, garlic, black pepper, salt, cumin, chili powder, and Mexican oregano. I'll have all the measurements in the description below. And there's our skirt steak, and there's our marinade. I put it all in a bowl, mixed it all up. It's been sitting a minute while I uh, trimmed all the fat off of these skirt steaks. One side of them did have quite a bit of fat and silver skin. So you want to trim that all up for your fajitas, just like that. And then I have them in this marinade container here. And all you got to do is pour your marinade right over all of the meat. And this is kind of a thick marinade, which is okay because as soon as I get all of this uh, marinade on the meat, you need to massage it into the meat. Just uh, massage it all in and this make sure that you get the marinade all over the meat. Easy to do, but at least you get a full coverage. Just like that, I'm gonna put a cover on it and then I'm gonna set it in the fridge for about six hours. You can go overnight if you have uh, the time. Okay, now I'm gonna make my uh, fajita seasoning. I'll also have all the ingredients uh, in the description below. That's all the spices I'm using. Mix them into a bowl and our fajita seasoning is ready. And now for our peppers, I'm using a orange, green, and red pepper sliced up. One medium onion also sliced up. And I'm gonna throw these all into a bowl. I'm gonna add some olive oil to it. And then I'm gonna take my fajita seasoning that I just made and I'm gonna sprinkle it all over it. And then you want to just take your hands and mix it all up. Check it out. I'm going to add some more oil and some more fajita seasoning to it. And that will sit for a few minutes. And then I also made some pico de gallo, chopped onion, tomato, jalapeno, and cilantro with a one lime. Okay. There's our marinated meat, pico de gallo, and our veggies. Now let's get on out to the grill. All right, I think we got our grill up to temp. This is gonna go fairly quick. Here's my fajita meat that it's been marinating for six hours. You can go overnight if you want. I never planned that far ahead, <laughs> as most of you would know. We're gonna throw this right on the grill. Hopefully I can get the next one on there. All right. We're gonna let this go for about one minute. Okay, it's been one minute. I'm gonna flip these. Look at that nice char already for one minute. Oh yeah. All right, we're only gonna go one more minute on here. Okay, we have one minute on this side. And right now I'm going to take these off. Look at that. Looks amazing. Okay. And you may think this is too short, but don't you worry. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Okay. Now that we got our fajitas done, I'm going to take this center grate off. 
Okay, now we're going to put our Weber cast iron wok on there. Let it get warmed up. While we're doing that, what we're going to do is get this uh, skirt steak cut up. And the skirt steak grains are going this way. So I'm going to cut these into the lengths that I want. And then I'm going to cut them in about maybe a little bigger than a quarter inch strips. You'll see some of these strips are a little less done than the others, but that's okay because these are going to go back in with our veggies. Get the rest of this cut up. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of olive oil in here. I do already have olive oil and my fajita seasoning on these peppers and onions. Smoking. Let's get these in there. Oh, yeah. You gotta love that sound, right? Now, there's one reason why I got all my charcoals lined up mostly over here. I want all the heat over here. It's over here. I can work with my hand and not burn my hand from this side of the griddle. Okay, just for the fun of it, let's get our uh, Blackstone IR temp. 402 degrees over here. We got about 295 to 300 over on this side right here. I don't know if you can see that red dot or not. Okay, so this side here, again, pushing 400 degrees. Okay, we don't want to overcook our veggies. So right now I'm going to move these over to this side. I squirt a little bit of olive oil in here. Okay, I'm gonna get our get our meat back on there. Over here on that hot side. I don't know if you can tell on the camera or not, but some of this uh, some of these veggies are getting a little bit of char to them, which is perfect. And we are ready to take this off. Okay. All right. We're going to put our meat on this side. Okay, I'm going to get my peppers off over on this side. Look at that. Okay. I'm just going to cover this all up with foil. And uh, I'm going to heat up our tortillas and we'll be right back. Okay. Go set it down somewhere safe. Put these over here. We'll get this back on. A piece of meat for me to taste. Now we're gonna warm up some tortillas. I might need my tongue for this. Okay, as they start heating up, I'll just flip them. That one there's done. I'm going to set it over here on a piece of foil. That one's done. See how that's bubbling up? We're good. With that one. Okay, I'm going to finish this up and we'll see you in a minute. All right, now it's time to get the fajita build on. I've got my peppers and onions. I've got my skirt steak grilled up. I'm going to add uh, some sour cream to this. You can add what you want. I'm building it with sour cream. I'm going to put a couple of blobs on there and then I'm going to top it with my pico de gallo. Put as much as you want. This stuff is so good. Just uh, Fold it on up and there you go. Now let's take a taste test. 
Okay, so there you go. Fajitas on the Weber kettle with a cast iron wok. Man, it doesn't get much better than that. You see how I put that one together? Here it is right here. Look at that fajita. Oh my God, let's take a bite of this. Oh my mm. goodness. This fajita is incredible. Oh my God, the flavors. The fajita seasoning, the marinade, all coming together. Absolutely outstanding. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ah, there you have it. Fajitas on the Weber kettle. Make you some today. We'll see you on the next cook. I hope you enjoyed this one. And I hope you have a great day.